Volatility is one of those words that you'll hear out there in the market that has a number of different meanings. Now, the way that we're going to use it right now is we're going to equate it to price movement, but you could still think about it as the equivalent of risk as well. Now, how we calculate volatility can be a little subjective, but we've got some rules of thumb here that are generally accepted and widely used amongst institutional investors. And what we're going to do is we're going to calculate a stock's average true range. Now, you could do this by hand, but you don't need to. The calculation is here on the slide. And what we're looking for is basically the true range of the stock over a 24-hour trading period. So let's say just what's the extreme price range over a full trading cycle. Well, that's the true range, but that's only good for one day. What we want to do from there is then calculate, well, what is the average true range? And usually we use a 14 period look back. So that's about three weeks on average in the market. So three weeks worth of how far did the stock actually move up or down. Now, as I said, you could calculate it by hand if you want. And the formula to understand what's going on is included here. You don't have to, and in fact, I wouldn't. You can apply an average true range indicator to your chart instead. So you can see here, for example, I've applied it to Netflix. It's right underneath the chart. So Netflix is currently trading at around $194 per share. And the average true range is telling me that it, its average range from an extreme to another extreme over the last 14 periods anyway is about $4.68. So that's its average true range. And we can suggest that that's basically the same thing as volatility. But the problem is it makes comparisons kind of challenging because although that sounds like a lot, and it is in fact quite a bit, that's pretty volatile, but it's also a $200 stock or nearly so. So how are we gonna make comparisons here, which we're gonna need to do from one stock to the next? Well, the next step is to create a percentage average true range or a percentage volatility measure. So here's how we're gonna do this. Now I'm gonna do it by hand first, but you don't have to worry too much about doing that. There's a spreadsheet that's included with the course that will do it all for you automatically. So if we were to do that, what we wanna do is we'd, we'd take the average true range for Netflix. So that's the first part of our calculation. And then we would divide it by the price of Netflix. And that'll give us a percentage volatility. So in this case, if we were to do that calculation, we'd use the average true range of $4.59 divided by the stock price at the time, which is 198.37. That tells us that our percentage volatility is 2.31%. So when we convert things to percentages like this, it makes it a lot easier for us to compare it against stocks that may be much more expensive than Netflix potentially, but more often much less expensive than Netflix in dollar terms per share.